Hello, I'm Vincent, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use the spline navigation system in HyperNav to make your character's movement a lot smoother. In the last video, I talked about how to get everything set up to get the agent pathfinding. So if you haven't watched that one yet, you're going to want to go ahead and do that, or else this video probably will not make a whole lot of sense. But I'm going to assume that you've watched that, and let's get going. So on our agent, we have this nav agent from the last video. And all I need to do to make splines work is remove this component and replace it with a spline nav agent. I'm going to go ahead and reassign this reference to the new spline nav agent. As you can see, spline nav agent inherits from nav agent, with, which means we can use this in any way we could use the nav agent before. So I actually don't need to modify any of the code in agent controller. Everything should just work right off the bat. All right, so I'm going to move my target. And you can see that it is indeed still finding a path. And oops, it is now using a spline to make the path a whole lot smoother. Let me see if I can get a good path to demonstrate this so it's not just a mostly straight path that's not going to... Yeah, there we go. So you can see that it's now using kind of a curved path more than one with a lot of sharp edges. Now in the spline agent, we have additional parameters you can tweak. You can look at the documentation to see how each of these works. For example, let's say that I want to make it a little bit less bendy. I only want it, you know, a little curvy, but not super smooth. So if I make this tangent scale 0.25, this is going to control how kind of round the corners of the spline are. So now you can see that the corners are still kind of round. We still get that smooth movement, but they are more cornery. So that's kind of just up to you how smooth or how round you want the corners of your path to be. Now you also might notice that when the agent goes through these darker, these redder sections, these are the more curved sections of the spline, it slows down. Now we might not want that. Um, in this case, the agent can move perfectly along the spline because there's no acceleration. So there's really no need to slow down at the more um, sharper curves of the spline. So we could set this max curvature slowdown to 1. I'm just going to also revert this tangent scale to demonstrate this better. But setting this to 1 will pretty much just mean that the agent no longer slows down on sharp bends. You can also decrease that max slowdown to an even lower value if you want it to slow down even more. All right, then for the additional properties in here, I will leave it up to you to check out the documentation and play with those to see what works best for you. Anyway, that's it for this video. There's going to be one more video in the HyperNav sequence where I'm going to be talking about how you can combine multiple volumes. Until then, goodbye.